Let us proceed with the example of methane molecule. In methane, the central atom is carbon which has valence shell electronic configuration as follows. Now the first step. One electron is promoted from the 2s level to 2p level like this. After this step, what we see? There are no valence shells left with an electron pair. There are only four half-filled orbitals and also there are four hydrogen atoms to be bonded with the central atom. Therefore, all these four orbitals take part in hybridization like this. After hybridization, the hybrid orbitals are formed like this. They are known as sp3 hybrid orbitals because they are formed by mixing of 1s and 3p orbitals. The four hydrogen atoms 1s orbital make sigma bond with these four hybrid orbitals. The shape is regular tetrahedron and the bond angle is 109.5 degrees. Now let us see the individual hybrid orbitals. What you see? You see a big lobe and a small one. Remember that the big lobe is the result of mixing of wave functions in the same phase. And the small lobe is the result of mixing of wave functions which are out of phase. You will come to know more about the mixing of wave function in phase and out of phase when you will learn molecular orbital theory. Now I have to answer an important question regarding the energy required to promote the electron to a higher energy level and the energy required to hybridize the orbitals. Where does all this energy come from? Now the sum of energies of the electrons at ground state be E1 and the sum of energies of all the electrons after hybridization has taken place be E2. Now E2 is less than E1. The energy required to promote an electron to a higher energy level and the energy required to hybridize the atomic orbitals is more than compensated by the difference E1 minus E2. Now in ethylene there is sp2 hybridization. The orbitals of both carbon atoms at ground state are like this. One electron gets promoted to the 2p level. There are four half-filled atomic orbitals. Two of them bond with two hydrogen atoms each and one bond with another carbon atom. So these three hybridize to form three sp2 hybrid orbitals which is trigonal planar in shape and the bond angle is 120 degrees. The p orbital that doesn't take part in hybridization remain perpendicular to the plane of sp2 hybrid orbitals. The bonding pattern is like this. And the p orbitals form a pi bond. In acetylene, there is sp hybridization. Here, once again, one electron is promoted to the 2p level. Out of these four half-filled orbitals, one bond with a hydrogen atom and another with the other carbon atom. Therefore, these two orbitals hybridize to form two sp hybrid orbitals, which are linear in shape. The p orbital that doesn't take part in hybridization are involved in pi bonding like this.